The LGBTQ community celebrating what many say is a landmark victory. The federal government is lifting restrictions that prohibit gay and bisexual men from donating blood. And the hope is this could really help address blood shortages. Fox 4 Sean McDowell has more on the move's impact. We're different yeah. just a little bit. It's actually a big change for the blood donation industry. On Thursday, the Food and Drug Administration announces new rules permitting gay and bisexual men to donate blood. The ban had been in effect since the mid-1980s when the AIDS epidemic took thousands of lives. Our donor pool is going to grow. Chelsea Smith is a spokesperson for Community Blood Center in Kansas City. The news is exciting to workers at this center since they're in a blood emergency with donor totals and blood supplies running dangerously low. Community Blood Center was notified the FDA was considering this change back in January. We have been advocating for years for the FDA to make science-based changes to these policies. We know that we have better testing, we have better science to back up, that these changes are safe to make. The new national policy goes into effect immediately. The LGBT community has called for this change for decades, saying it was rooted in discrimination all along. Now, this policy isn't perfect, but without a doubt it's progress. Justice Horn is the chairperson for Kansas City's LGBT commission. It lifted a ban that was rooted in hate, stigma, and the idea that gay men were the biggest threat to the blood supply. Um, and that was rooted out of just discrimination for our community. As it stands, the blood center is particularly low on supplies of type O blood, both negative and positive. This facility likes to have a seven day supply of blood donations on hand to use in emergencies. And the hope is that loosening these restrictions will bring in new donors to deliver life-saving blood. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.